here's the actual kebab mix i've got cilantro half a bunch it's finely chopped finely ground chilies i'm gonna start with some lemon juice half a teaspoon of kashmiri masala one tablespoon of uh, rombarossi masala half a teaspoon of garam masala and we're ready to mix all right time to make the magic happen onions So we got onions, green chilies, one sprig of uh, curry leaves, and cilantro. And we add a little bit of biryani mix to get the flavors going. The onions have been braising for about 15 minutes, so now it's time to spice it up. We're gonna put a tablespoon of uh, rombarossi, teaspoon of uh, Kashmiri masala. You can add a little bit more of uh, biryani mix, about a half a spoon. And then one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. You can see that color coming out of the spice. It's time to mix it. And at the same time, make sure that it's evenly spread. Add a little bit of water so you can cook the spice in the onion so that the onion doesn't stick to the pot. So now it's time to add the kebabs in. I do it this way so that the meat cooks in with the masala before you add the tomato. That way the gravy doesn't actually dilute the, the masala. As you can see the masala is really well cooked into the, the gravy. So I'm actually mixing it up right now. Give it another 10 minutes, which takes that to about uh, 30 minutes of cooking. Now it's time to add the uh, four medium sized tomato chutney. Just blend it itself. Before you mix it, you let it sit for at least about 10 15 minutes. Okay. It's been about 15 minutes, you can see some of the oil is starting to rise to the top. So I mix this nice. It's been cooking for about 25 minutes. You can see the lovely color from the Kashmiri masala popping right through. The gravy will thicken and then it's ready to basically chow time. 